Hey everyone, this is Ahmed, and uh, in this video I'll explain how to use this uh, very simple script to create leaves uh, based on the design of the, a leaf of your choice. So usually you may have um, brushes that are already set for you or you can create trees here in Maya that are automatically like are by default that are saved in the software um, and then you can convert the brushes to a polygon or uh, but for this specific script let's say if you have a leaf like that within that design and you want to populate that leaf um, on a shape of let's say that's the silhouette of the tree right and uh, usually what you do with the script is that first of all the download link is in the description so what you will need to do is make sure first of all that you open the script editor so you open it open it here and all you need to do is just make sure that you're in the python tab by default it's in mel and you will just drag and drop the script here and you'll be able to use it so once you download the script just drag and drop it here and it will be set for you guys so that all you need to do is just click on this execute button here these two arrows or this one so if you click here it will open this window for you now all you need to do is very simple it's just mainly select the leaf that you want save it so that it knows that it you want that specific leaf because you may have different types of leaves and then select the vertices you want so let's say you can select this amount of vertices and once you create the leaves there you go it creates for you the leaves based on the selected vertices but what you will need to do is probably um, select like all of the vertices on the geometry so here you can just select all these vertices and then run the script again so create leaves give it about a minute usually when you have a lot of geometry in your scene it just takes a little bit of time to uh, load so make sure that you don't have too many vertices selected I would say about 2,000 for every 2,000 um, vertices it's probably gonna take about two minutes uh, but yeah that that would be the preference for the script perfect so once it's done you can just hide the sphere and or you can delete it and you would have this shape so let's say we hide these two and we can populate them later the cool thing about this is that since it basically created instances for you guys so if you did any change in this leaf so let's say you select um, one vertex, a couple of vertices here, it's going to do the same thing to the rest because it is an instance. So I simply can just scale it up a little bit if I want to. And that will you see here that it scaled the rest of the leaves. Okay, perfect. Of course, um, what you will, it, it will be best to um, kind of like take that group because automatically the script so automatically the script creates a group for you uh, make sure that you can just create a layer and you can add the selected objects to this layer and make it reference by clicking here or actually let's make it sorry template uh, this way it is not as slow because again when you put a lot of geometry in your scene uh, you tend to have a slower scene you can also turn off the layer for now and replace it with spheres until later on when you want to render you can view it again okay so that's just a quick example and let's apply the uh, script to the rest of the spheres quickly so I chose for the uh, one of the spheres I just chose the uh, red leaf and cool thing also is that we can assign to the spheres that we created the leaves on we can assign to them uh, a texture or color so that they can cover the uh, blank spots if you want uh, if you want to hide them you can as well and it will still 
uh, look decent. Again, you can choose any shape of your creation. That's just a very generic, quick shape. Um, so one other thing we can do is let's try and do the same thing to this uh, tree here. So I have a cone, select the vertices. And one thing you can know the amount of vertices, and we said that it would be suitable to only have about 2,000, roughly 2,000. Now, 2,000 vertices, of course, you don't want to count them, but if you select the vertices like that, uh, you can just double click on the script editor. And if you go here, um, it will basically tell you roughly the number of the vertices. So the last number you see is basically the number, it's like um, 1,600, close to 2,000, which is suitable. Uh, now let's try to run this and see what's going to happen. Again, um, we now have the uh, red leaf saved. So of course, select the leaf you want, save it first to know that this is the leaf you want to use, and then uh, select the vertices and create the leaves and it's done so it took a couple of minutes uh, but uh, at least we have it in our scene you can see that the scene is starting to get a little slower when you have a lot of geometry but since we have the rest of the leaves in one layer that we can hide we can move faster in our scene but uh, we can probably hide this and uh, you would have something like that and you can also you can also either um, scale this cone down a little bit and maybe add a texture to it let's maybe add the uh, orange color so let's go to existing choose orange and or you can just I would personally I would personally just go here and just scale the vertices a little bit um, but be careful because this will affect the rest of the other red leaves so we can just scale it here. Something like that. Um, and when we go to object mode again, we have it here. So hopefully this is helpful. And if you have any further questions, feel free to write them in the comment section. Again, the download link is included in the description as well. Uh, thank you so much.